Hello and welcome to Control Delete Tutorials. Today we're going to look at making a turntable render or a 360 render using Mudbox and then compositing a couple things in After Effects. So it's going to be a pretty quick demo. Um, so the way we're going to start is uh, I want to get a background here for uh, my character. So what I'm going to do is go to my object list, go to my perspective camera, make sure I'm looking through that camera, right click, look through, and I'm going to drop this down and go to image plane and I'm going to import an image. Now ahead of time I've gone through and uh, found an image that I want to use and since I'm dealing with Mario here let's see uh, where's the one I down? there we go so I'm going to use that. I'm going to set the depth all the way back in case it's not and I'm going to set my scale here. I'm just going to make this and scale this out. Now let's go a little bit bigger just so I can fit everything in here. So I'll go 2.5 and <clears throat> trying to get those a little more square. 1.7 oh typed in 7 but fortunately keyboard didn't like it. Alright that looks good. And I'm going to move this uh, up a little bit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. Just wanted to make sure that was up before I did it. Um, so I'll do like 0.25. Yeah. So that way he's standing on the ground. So I have something in the background. Okay. So for my first pass, I'm going to go to rendering, create turntable movie. Oh, before I do that, I want to turn off my grid because otherwise it's going to look bad. So I'll turn that off and I'm going to go to render create turntable movie I'm going to pick my size I'm going to pick 720 by 480 make sure the character fits completely in and I'm going to do mine at 300 frames at 30 frames a second that gives me a nice 10 second turnaround <clears throat> I'm going to leave this unchecked because I'm just going to do a nice fast uh, turntable uh, well it's still going to be 10 seconds but I want to do a fast uh, render of this. So I'm going to go to create. I'm going to save this. For now, I'm just going to save this on the desktop. And I'll call this, um, call this, if you don't know who Sexy Mario is, you should look up Super Sexy Mario on Facebook. That's who this model's after. So I'm going to do Sexy Mario <coughs> textured, sorry, um, 360. And I'm going to click save. Okay, so down at the bottom we're going to see uh, our render being created. It's going to go pretty quick because it's mostly just doing a preview of this. Um, I'll go ahead and pause the video and start it back whenever that part is finished to go into the next part. Alright, so our uh, render is finished. It may try to automatically open up here once it's finished. We'll see if that pops up before I do anything else. Um, it will continue to say saving frames down here. I don't know what the deal is with Mudbox, why it does this, um, because it should basically be finished. We can go back in and start working in the scene. Um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to create a new layer uh, for my textures, and I'm just going to leave this as paint. There we go, it did open. So we can see here what the 360 looks like. Good thing to look at is we want to make it look like the character is centered so we don't want them wobbling around as they rotate alright so we'll just close that so I'm gonna add a new diffuse uh, layer to my paint layer here and I'm going to fill that with just a single color so I'm gonna go to paint tools paintbrush I'm gonna select a color let's go with something uh, I'll go with like a light gray and I'm going to flood the paint layer. So now this is going to basically be a clay re uh, render. So it's going to just show me uh, the sculpting information. So without doing anything, I don't want to rotate around. I don't want to move the camera at all. I just want to leave this exactly where it is. So now what I'm going to do, uh, I might move my lighting though. So I'm going to hold L and just change the lighting here just to show this a little better. So I'm going to create another turntable movie. I'm going to hit create. 
and this one I'm going to call Clay. Sounds like my daughter's about to pay us a visit. So I'll save that. So now it's going to create another one. So I'm going to pause the video, and um, whenever I come back, that one will be finished, and we'll go on to the next step. All right, so the other video is finished. Uh, we can look at this. Uh, I do have my daughter here with me in case she chimes in. But um, So now we can see all the sculpting information that we have for Mr. Sexy Mario. Uh, so the next part, uh, I'm going to go ahead and flood the paint layer again with white. And now I'm going to turn on the wireframe. So I will go to wireframe, turn that on so I can see that. And I'm going to go ahead and hit page down. Um, all right, so he's at level zero. So I'm going to render out this wireframe just because it shows me the basic topology here. Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing, rendering, create turntable. And with this one, um, I'm going to leave that the same. I'll go to create. And I'm going to name this one <laughs> wired. Or just wire is fine. And save. Okay, while that one goes, again, I'm going to pause the video, and when I come back, uh, we'll show a couple other things we can do with this. All right, so that preview uh, render is finished, and it'll probably pop up here, and it'll show me that one. So go ahead and close that. And so the next part I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my paint layer there. And I'm also going to turn off the wireframe. Uh, wireframe. Sweet. <laughs> I got an email. That's what that is. It's my ringtone. And I have normal maps, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. So that way I can do another render that shows the low poly uh, render while also having the uh, wireframe. Or not with the, with the uh, normal maps on. So I'll do that one. So I'll go to render, create turntable movie, create, and call this one normal. Just realized I spelled that wrong before. <sighs> What's up with my keyboard? Normal. And save. Okay, while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and go into After Effects, and I'm going to bring all of these in never again. Okay, yes, leave me alone. Um, all right, so I'm going to bring everything in here. So I'm going to go to File, Import. I'll go to the desktop where I've saved everything. And I'm going to bring in, OK, perfect timing. So that's with my normal maps on it. So I'm going to bring all of those in. I'm going to Import. And that'll bring all of them in. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my texture one. I'm going to click and drag this down into my composition. It's going to make a composition that automatically fits the size that I need here. So I'm going to go to my composition settings, and I'm going to set this up so that it is, uh, we'll say, one minute long. So I'm going to click OK. So you can see my timeline here is now a minute. So uh, the next part I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of my videos. I'm going to right click and I um, might have to do this one at a time. All right, select interpret footage main and I'm going to set my loop times to something like six just so all of them will loop many times. Interpret footage main six. And I just do that to all of them. So now I'm going to bring in my other ones, clay and my wired ones, and I'll bring them all in. And they're already uh, as long as they have to be. And I'll just drag this one here. So currently what I see is I got my high poly one. So I'm going to leave that one to last. Um, so I'm just going to drag these kind of out of the way for a moment. Uh, so I'm going to start off with my 
uh, wireframe render. Okay. And so I'm going to let that spin around one full rotation. And then partway through, I'm going to bring in my next one. So I'm going to bring in my clay render. Go ahead and move this down so they're in order. And I'm going to hit T to go to transparency. I'm going to set my transparency to zero. That's not zero. Again, computer's being weird. Uh, I'm going to turn on the uh, animate feature there. And I'm going to go one second. So set this to 13. And I'll set my transparency all the way up. So now what happens is, as this rotates, it will do a clay render. And so once it gets, again, about turned around here, I'm going to bring in my 360 with normal, so this will be my low poly one. I'm going to do the same thing. So what I can really do is just select these from here, control C and control V. Oops. Make sure you have that selected, control V to paste that. And so now if I hit T, we'll see I have those keyframes there. So now it'll turn around and show my low poly version. And then as it gets uh, most of the way around. Actually, I'm going to let this one go pretty close to all the way around. Drag out this part, uh, hit T, show my transparency, and I've already got that copy information, so I'm going to hit Control V and paste that. And then the other thing that I can do is um, I'm going to come to each one of these, and whenever this one's 100%, I'm going to hit Hold Alt and click right bracket and that's going to end this one here. I'm going to do the same thing here. Alt, right bracket, that's going to end that on my timeline. And then again, Alt, right bracket. And so what we should get is a nice transition from all these. So if I press zero on my number pad, it's going to start rendering a preview. And then all I have to do is render that out in whatever format that I want. and It'll uh, make a nice 360 render that shows all of the um, different iterations of my character, adding textures and things like that. What's nice is this is After Effects, so I could bring in the textures and show them being applied. Um, I could also uh, put text on here that says how many polygons the character is, label what the character is by name, and say wireframe, clay render, you know, whatever I want to do right here in After Effects. And that'll basically wrap it up for this video. If you have any other questions, uh, please feel free to leave comments. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, please give me a like. And if you really liked most of my videos, I hope you subscribe. So uh, I will finish up here with the preview, and that'll end it for this video. All right. All right, so I'm going to hit zero again just to show this. There's wireframe. And then shaded. And then low poly with normal maps. And then finally, the textured high poly one. That's it. Thanks for watching.